Hey guys, it's me Drew, welcome back to my channel, and as you see from the title above, this is going to be my October Destination Wax Haul. Now, before I get into it, I want to talk a little bit about the way Destination Wax is run and operated, because I feel like some people have some questions. So. Destination Wax is owned by Rebecca Harris, and she has a little small team, her husband, and a few friends, but they open on the first of every month. So, October 1st, she opens the site. A few days before, maybe even a week before, she will post a list on her Facebook group of what is being retired, discontinued, what's new, and then an updated scent list. So, she pours all of her scent lists, well, 90% of her scent list in these breakaway bars. So they're like six bars, and you can break them into six pieces. It's basically like a deconstructed clamshell. But one of those cubes, the whole space. And I'm not joking. I mean, I had, I have 13 warmers in my main space right now. I had a piece of wax in every single one of them. And then in my bathroom, I had one cube of Cider Lane from her. When I left to go grocery shopping and came back, all I smelled was Cider Lane. And the scent that I had was from a very reputable vendor. It was a nice, strong blend. That's all I could smell was Cider Lane. Her wax is amazing. The best throw out there. You really never have to worry about it. And what I love about Rebecca's wax is she puts accurate pour dates right here on the back of everything. So like this one was poured 6-21-21. It's a real pour date. I mean, I never realized that could be hard to do, but I understand some vendors do have an issue putting accurate pour dates, but I love that she has accurate pour dates. Then, she has her limited edition or discontinued scents available in scent shots. So they're just scent shot smaller form, cut them in half, you get two melts. Also has an accurate pour date on the side there. But what I like about these guys is they're easy to store, they're closed contained, but these are only available in the sense that she ran out of oil and it's being discontinued, she only could get a small amount, etc. And the thing is, for example, Huckleberry Muffin is not just one oil, it's a blend. So if one of those oils is discontinued, she'll either A, reformulate it, or B, discontinue it. So if it's discontinued, she'll make scent shots in whatever she has left of it and offer them on the site. Then. Those are ready to ship. So as soon as you order, there's a limited quantity of everything. You place your order, ships to you. Everything is offered in what she calls her foil pan, which most vendors are known as loaves. Now, the thing with the loaves are they're made to order. So if you order loaves with your breakaway bars or your scent shots, your order is going to ship later than most people's because they are hand pouring these guys as you order. They're like a made to order. So what I do because I love Destination Wax and I always find scents that I really want to try in more quantity is I place two separate orders. So I order one of all the breakaway bars and one of all my foil pans. So today is October 12th. I got my box of breakaway bars and then towards the end of the month I'll get my box of foil pans. So in these hauls, my October order is going to be my September foil pans and my October breakaway bars, if that makes sense. Because I'm not going to haul the foil pans separately because I only buy about five or six. And they're scents I've already talked about on my channel because I love them. And she also includes, I already broke open this, but it's a little brown bag with her Destination Wax Compass stamp and a piece of paper, and this one says, Thank you, Drew. Happy Halloween, Rebecca. And she includes little samples. Now, I have not smelled anything. I've smelled nothing. I did open the foil, or the sample bag, but as soon as I saw all of them, I'm like, why don't I just hop on and make a video of my literal first impressions? So, without further ado, I know that was long-winded. I'm going to leave her website down below. It is closed now, but... I'm also going to leave a link to her Facebook group, as well as a link to her most updated scent list, which is October 10th, 2021. So that way you can see everything that is offered from Destination Wax. 
So without further ado, let's get into the haul. Another thing I wanted to add is why I'm so excited about this haul is, which I think we'll start right now, I got two of the same scent in a sample, but listen, these are what she calls her test blends. So she sent me, it is called Kiko's Cafe, and it is ginger cream cafe and strawberries. Now she sent me two in white and two in pink, which means they are different blends. So they could be 50-50, 40-60, 20-80, I'm not really sure, but she did the date, which is poured 9.30, and this was $9.29, so they're ready to go. And she wants you to test these out and either email her, Facebook message her, post in the group what you think about these. And if you like them and they're successful, she'll add them to the line, which I think is so cool. So, I've never smelled her Ginger Cream Cafe, and I'm not sure which strawberry oil this is. So we'll start with the white test blend. And there's two melts, and all of her samples are always these really cool shapes. They do vary in shape, but this is a little rose, and this is Ginger Cream Cafe and strawberries. Okay, I definitely pick up on strawberry. As far as Ginger Cream Cafe, I wish I had that in a breakaway bar. I have it on my list for the next order, but to me, this smells just like a creamy strawberry blend. Let me smell it in the bag, because sometimes, because they've been in the bag for so long, yeah, I just smell like a really creamy strawberry. It's yummy. And... Yeah, all I'm smelling is like a really creamy strawberry. So there's that one. And then for the pink blend, let's see. Her company is just amazing. Like, I, I love the way that it operates, and I love how cool this is. Like, you're part of the testing process. All right, this one's definitely lighter and more... Uh, I do pick up, pick up on more of a ginger. And it's like that ginger that, like, a little bit in your back... It hits you in the back of the throat but it's definitely not as strong and I feel like the strawberry is not not as potent in here so if I'm guessing there's more strawberry in the white blend and Rebecca if you are watching this video I like the white on cold I have not melted yet but on cold I like the white better all right the next one I got is tonic a fresh and green scent with geranium and rosemary compared to Clarins Body Tonic. I've never used that product, but I love a good dupe. Ooh. All right. This is, def this is super funny. It definitely smells like a face cleanser, like a really clean face cleanser. Even though it says body tonic, I'm guessing it's like a body cleanser, but... It smells like a very, very green aquatic facial cleanser. That'll be a good bathroom scent. And I mean, like I said, these, this one piece in a melter in the bathroom, blow your socks off. And I paid for all this stuff too. Just, just to let everybody know, like I paid full price for everything, shipping, everything. So these are my honest opinions. Lemon leaves and mint. So this is lemon leaves, lemon oil, lemon verbena, and fresh spearmint. Is it going to be super lemony? It sounds it. Ooh, okay. This is really interesting. So I did, I worked for L'Occitane for a short time, and they have a product, verbena. And if you're not familiar with verbena, it's like a very green plant, but it smells very lemony. So think of like a cross between a lemon and a green scent. That's like what verbena is. It's very fresh, very uplifting, very bright. And it smells like you're wearing that verbena perfume, but chewing a stick of spearmint gum, like at the same time. Because the spearmint's in the background. That is really, really fresh. I like that. That's really interesting, really different. Like, it's something that I would never be like, oh, I want to order that. But that's what samples are amazing. Then we have yellow pear. Fresh, lightly sweet yellow pear. Whoa. That is, like, really pear -y. Oh, my gosh. It's kind of like... 
I've never eaten a yellow pear, so I don't really know. This is really, really different. That, I've never smelled anything like this in my life. It's kind of candy-like. Almost like if a pear was a candy. But I'm getting more of like... Like a zestiness. It's hard to describe. Wow! That's really different. It's like a, like a sweet candy. The thing about Destination Wax is everything is so unique. I thought there's one more sample. Yeah, there's one more. Whoops. And everything from hers is so unique that like you've never smelled anything like it from any other vendor. This one is Take a Letter Maria. I'm not sure what the reference is on that. Sweet tart passion fruit and fragrant tea roses. I think I'm gonna like this. Ooh, okay. This is definitely rosy. And I know a lot of people don't love rose as a fragrance. I love rose. I have a rose perfume I'm obsessed with. Mixed with sweet tart passion fruit. Wow, that's different. It's it's definitely tart. Like, you, you get a pucker. And I would never think of blending passion fruit with a tea rose. And a tea rose is a smaller rose. It's like those little pink, really tightly coiled roses. Wow, that, that's really cool. It's definitely tart. I, I feel like this you would definitely find in like a perfume store in like a body butter. Like I picture this beautiful glass jar, not this big, oh my God, that'd be like $400. It'd be like a glass jar and you open the lid and you smell this beautiful rose perfume. And when you put it on, just the slight fruitiness which enhances the rose, that is really pretty. I'm gonna save that for the spring because that's a pretty scent. All right, so before I get into the breakaway bars, I want to talk about my foil pans. I have seven foil pans. The first one I have is Palo Santo. If you know me, you know I love me a Palo Santo. Warm and mellow Palo Santo wood, amber and soft musk Bath and Body Works type. I'm not sure if I hauled this already. I might have in my last video, but, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It smells just like the Palo Santo Bath and Body Works scent. It's smoky, it's creamy, it's fresh. If you've never smelled Palo Santo, you need to jump on the bandwagon. It's amazing. Jelly Cronut, and I had my first Cronut when I went to New York City to Dominique Ansel's Bakery, which is a French baker who originally created the Cronut, and every month they do a Cronut of the Month, and that's the only one available, so I hope you like it. And it was a fig jam with an almond icing. Chef's kiss. It was worth the 25 minute wait. Yes, after 10 years of the Cronut, there was still a wait to get one. That's how you know it's good. I hope you guys like all my stories. I Scent is so personal for me, and it holds so many memories. So for me, I love telling you guys because if I can make this scent come alive when I talk to you guys, it just makes my day. Jelly Crona. Flaky, buttery croissant donut filled with blackberry, raspberry, and strawberry jam. You get the flakiness of the pastry, and you get that tri berry jelly. It's a happy scent. You ever smell something and you're like, yeah, that's a happy scent. Jelly Cronut to me is a happy scent. It's comforting, it's fruity, it's a little bit sweet and bakery. It's yummy. Cider Lane, my kryptonite. Sweet green apple cider, lightly spiced with a hint of caramel. Uh, uh, I love this scent, you guys. Like, this, to me, is a scent I don't understand why Bath & Body Works did not bring it back this year. It's creamy, sweet caramel with a tart green apple, but just the right amount of apple where it's like 75, almost 80% caramel and 20% or 20% apple. It's so good. I never want to be without that scent. It's, it's heaven. Strawberry seeds. Now this actually I did not have in a breakaway bar. I went straight for the foil pan because I love strawberry scents. And this is sweet and zesty strawberry. And Ramona recommended me watch Josh. 
I'm not exactly sure of his last name. Yeah, I can smell it already. It was so good. I ordered another one in this October order. And I watched his reaction to this video, this scent, in a video. And yes. You ever smell, like, so many candied strawberry scents and you're like, every strawberry scent is candied. Like, you're never going to get a true, authentic, juicy, like, real strawberries. Not those, like, fake strawberries you buy at the grocery store. Like, you go to a farm and you pick the juiciest strawberries and the smaller the strawberry, the juicier they are. This is it. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh. I can never get enough of that sound. Like, and that is a year round. Like, even though it's like totally not strawberry season, I'm still gonna melt me some strawberry. Cranberry woods. Cranberry, black currant, cinnamon, and a bit of cedar. Besides Cider Lane, because that's on a level all on its own, Cranberry Woods is one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works for the fall. And it's just tart cranberry, smoky woods mixed together to give you a comforting, warm, outdoorsy scent that I just, I never get enough of. It's so yummy. Autumn, my favorite season. Red eucalyptus, no, scratch that. Red apple, balsam, fig, and eucalyptus. It's also Bath and Body Works type. This one, I feel like there's autumn and there's leaves. There's autumn people, and there's leaves people. I like both. If I had a choice, I like autumn better, because I like fig. It's that sweet, succulent fig. I don't really necessarily smell eucalyptus, but I feel like if you took eucalyptus out of the fragrance, it would not be that true, crisp autumn air fragrance that it is. It's fruity. Ugh. It's so good. If you like a fig, like a sweet fig and you want a really great fall fig, autumn. You, you have to. It's so strong too. And then the last foil pan is Day of the Dead. Now, this is Neroli, Lime, and Frankincense. It's compared to Lush, which is their Kalaka scent, which hasn't been out, I don't remember, in a while. This wakes you up. It's like the sugar, like you honestly, you took a lime, you sliced the lime, you squeezed all the juice out, you rolled it in sugar, and you just let it sit. And you let it get super crystallized and sugary. That is what Day of the Dead smells like. The most sugary, sweet lime you've ever smelled. I feel like if you don't like sweet scents or fruity, you're not going to like this, but it is a very sweet scent. It is a wake you up in the morning scent, like I said. I cannot wait to melt this, and I have, uh, I think these are 14 ounces of wax to melt all for myself, because I love this scent so much. So, seven foil pans down, 37 breakaway bars to go. I told you it was going to be a long video, so feel free to pause, take a break, take a potty break. All right, so the first breakaway bar I have is wedding cake. Vanilla cake with thick white frosting and a thin layer of strawberry jam, not buttery. And I like that she adds like her little takes on the scents too. Now, I love strawberry, I love cake and bakery, and this sounds like the most delicious cake I've ever wanted to eat in my life. I'm actually getting a ton of strawberry. Hmm. To me, it smells more like a very creamy white cake. I definitely can capture the thick white frosting. But as far as straw, it does say a thin layer of strawberry jam. I'm not really getting a ton of strawberry. Maybe it's because I detected it so heavy in the strawberry jam. But right now, I'm not getting a ton of strawberry from that. It's not a bad thing. I just was expecting more strawberry. Wine cellar. And this is pomegranate, black cherries, pink pepper, musk, saffron, and patchouli. Slightly sweeter than Bath & Body Works. I love wine cellar, by the way. 
Okay, I, I can I can get that it's it's definitely sweet. As far as smelling like a glass of wine, I'm not really a big wine drinker, so I'm not really sure. But it smells more like I can definitely pick up on like a more. There's no booze. Patchouli, like I could see this as like an earthy, like almost slightly perfumey fruity. You can definitely tell that it's like a Bath and Body Works type of scent because it has like that Bath and Body Works element to it where it's like sweet, a little bit creamy, fruity. It's yummy though. Zucchini bread banana. Zucchini bread made with ripe bananas, walnuts, and a touch of brown sugar. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't want banana zucchini bread? It's like the two best breads mixed together. I already know what's going to be in a loaf for November. Zucchini bread banana. Wow. That is an authentic banana. Like, holy crap. I will say, the zucchini bread is not the dominant note. It is banana and walnut. But, to me, this is like real, like, real gooey mashed banana when you're making banana bread. And I feel like it's like like the cronut of banana bread where you're blending up a, a zucchini bread and a banana together. Oh my god, that sounds delish. Love that. Real authentic banana. White chocolate raspberry truffle. Chocolate raspberry truffles dipped in rich, sweet white chocolate. Yeah, delish. It sounds like you walked into Godiva. 100%. It smells like you walk into Godiva. And you know what's weird? When you walk into Godiva, it almost has like a warmth to the smell. Like it's like a warm chocolate when you smell it. And the truffles are all lined up and they look beautiful and you hate that they're filled with so many calories and you want to eat like six at a time. Ugh. You, you pick up on raspberry chocolate. Like it's definitely a raspberry chocolate scent. And I think the white chocolate just creams it up a little bit. Wow, is that good? Oh, she's dangerous for me. <laughs> we have pretzel blueberry, and this is pretzel plus blueberry basket. Now, I'm excited to smell these because I either like your pretzel scents or I don't. And let's see. I can't detect because I smell more blueberry. It smells like a blueberry. I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really getting much pretzel right now. I, I think I ordered just plain pretzel. I'm not sure. I know I ordered plain blueberry basket in this. So I'll see if that like blueberry basket is different. But for now, it smells more like a blueberry muffin than a pretzel. So I'm not getting that super salty, but it also doesn't mean I won't like it because it's not like, um, it's not that yeasty pretzel, at least from what I'm detecting now. Dirt. <laughs> Damp, freshly turned garden dirt. And I, every time I see this, I think of Ramona's video because she did her collection of Destination Wax and she goes, how much dirt do I have? She must really like the scent. So I'm like, I have to try it. Dirt sounds interesting. Oh, it does smell like dirt. It smells like you're at Home Depot in the garden section. Not really sure why you would want to smell dirt in your house. It's fresh, but it's fresh dirt. Interesting. Let me know if you've melted dirt. What do you think on warm and what about blending it? it smells like dirt, that's for sure. Pine cones. I put what Christmas scents do I need to try, and pine cones was definitely on that list. Fresh balsam, spruce, cedar, and pine cone wreath. This is a sweet, fresh scent. Ooh. Huh. Shantae, don't do that. She like, after she eats, she like scratches the carpet. I'm not really sure why she does that. Anybody know? Hmm. 
I don't know what I was expecting from this, but it wasn't this. <sighs> Cedar balsam. I can I can get that vibe. I don't know if I was expecting it to be more of like a perfumey or not perfumey woody scent than it is. It's like a very fresh tree scent. Which I guess pine cones fall from a tree. We'll see. Like I said, her wax, no matter what scent it is, I always warm it because the way that the things change on warm from her wax is amazing. Pure shampoo. A fresh and invigorating shampoo scent similar to Aveda's Shampoo. I used that years ago. I could never use it now. Oh my god, my purple would be gone. Oh yeah. And it's so funny because like I've used that so much when I was younger that I, I just know the scent is that smells like shampoo. So I'm gonna say this smells like shampoo. But to describe it, it's like it's like shampoo. Like it's like like a deep cleansing, clarifying shampoo scent. That's the only way I can describe that one. I'm so excited about this one. Fraser Fur. This is the dupe of the Times Fraser Fur. If you're familiar with that candle, I'm actually burning a Times candle here in um, their simmered cider. Their candles suck when they burn. By the way, it's I. I think I need to do another worst candle brands video and update some things. None of my first options changed, but there's definitely some to add to that list. And love Times fragrances, hate the burns. Fraser Fir, that's a dupe of their number one selling Christmas fragrance. Siberian Fir, Cedarwood, and Sandalwood. If this just smells exactly like it, like I know what's going to, I am excited because I'm just going to get a loaf in it. Yep. It is that quintessential... It is like, I don't know how Times did it, but they created the perfect Christmas tree scent. It's just sweet enough where it takes away that bitiness of the pine and, or, well, this is fur. It takes away that bitiness of that really, really earthy green scent. Ah, it, that's fabulous. Fabulous. Corfu. And this one is a fragrant garden terrace on the Greek island of Corfu. Fresh cedar, fir, lavender, and citrus. I've heard a lot of people talk to me about this one as a, like, clean scent. I definitely pick up on lavender. And it's like that pure herbal lavender. Like, you literally took lavender petals and crushed them in your hands. That's really herbal. It's not a bad thing. My face might say that because I'm really like inhaling the scent, really getting those notes. Yeah, I, I I smell a very fresh, a fresh herbal lavender. It's like not just lavender because it's out there in the Greek island. Like you smell like the saltiness of the air, the freshness of the trees as you're inhaling that fresh lavender. Wow, that's really cool. I like that. Oh my god, there's so many. Wasabi. Fresh and earthy eucalyptus, ginger, peppermint, camphor, amber, thyme, and wasabi. I don't like spicy at all. Like eating it. But. Oh. Well, that's wasabi. Oh my god. <coughs> that is powerful. I got one whiff of that, and it went all the way up my nose, down my throat, and now I need to get a drink of water. All right, now that I'm, like, refreshed, if you like spicy scents, go for that. Wow. Spicy. Smells just like wasabi. Vegas Showgirl. Dishy blend, dishy, a dishy blend of melon, pink flowers, coconut milk, and leather. A Vegas showgirl. I'm interested. Okay. I pick up on melon and leather, which is like two cents you never thought would go together. And it just says melon, so I'm not really sure what melon. It 
kind of smells like a honeydew. Like a honeydew leather. That's different. That's a very interesting combination. Hmm. Honeydew. Honeydew leather. I'm not sure how that relates to a Vegas showgirl. If you know melon. Unless they're talking about like melons. <laughs> oh god. There's so much wax in here I'm going crazy. But maybe melons. Is that what they're trying to reference? Like a melon? Like a Vegas showgirl's melons? I don't know. <laughs> Rebecca's watching this video like, oh my god. Either he got the reference or he's crazy. Either way. Pink peppermint. Pink sugar blender. Peppermint and vanilla. I love pink sugar and I love peppermint. And I love this from other places. So, oh yeah. It's pink sugar and peppermint with that vanilla. And pink sugar, if you're unfamiliar, it's like a very sweet, sugary, perfumey type of scent blended with peppermint and vanilla. That is like a perfect bedtime scent. Love. <gasps> tobacco Vini. I was very excited about this. This is the Tom Ford Tobacco Vini type, which is tobacco flowers and leaves, tonka bean, spices, and vanilla. Oh my god, there is a fly running around. And Shantae is chasing him. Or her. Oh, it smells just like that perfume. I just simplified my perfume collection to five. Maybe I'll do an updated perfume collection and show you guys like what I've been wearing a lot and what I love about them. But I've been thinking to myself, I want to get a new Tom Ford perfume. And I love Tobacco Vinny, but I'm like, is it too basic to wear? Because, like, you'll see for my collection, there's one super basic scent, and then there's four that, like, are super crazy out there, but ah, smelling this, I love it. It's like the perfect sweet vanilla with those tobacco leaves. If you smell it, you know what I mean. Cotton candy. I always have issues with cotton candy throwing from a lot of vendors or smelling it singly, so I was super excited to try it from Rebecca because I don't have any problems with her wax throwing. F fluffy, sweet, pink cotton candy. Please be like a circus. Oh, it is. It is. It's like that cotton candy that you pay $20 for at the circus. <sighs> That's yummy. Oh my god. I don't even have any complaints about anything. Like, there's some that are not my type, but you have to try them. Moon Spice Cookie. I was going to just go ahead and order this in a loaf because everybody literally raves about it. But I did just get it in a breakaway bar. I know. Sugar Cookies, Coffee, and Celtic Moon Spice. I can see why everybody raves about this. Oh my lanta. Oh my lanta. It's like coffee sugar cookie. Like, oh my god. Poured 719. Yeah. This is going in my warmers tomorrow morning. The whole bar. All throughout my house. Because I don't care. Because I want to be intoxicated with this scent. Rebecca, I know I placed my order for foil pans this month. If you add one of these to my order, I won't be upset. And I'll pay you, obviously. That scent to die for. And now I inhaled so much I have to sneeze. Ah, I'm back. I am like in Destination Wax Heaven over here. I can't get enough. Strawberry Lemonade Gelato. Frozen lemon, sugared strawberries, and vanilla cream. I have a feeling I'm just going to love this. I don't love summer scents, but I love lemon and I love strawberry. Yeah, this is amazing. The thing with her scents is, like, I could literally sit here and talk for ten minutes about each one. You're like, Drew, it feels like you are. Listen. I know. It, 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 like, 
you, you're at an amusement park and you buy that lemonade. You know that lemonade that is just water and sugar and they add a lemon and shake it up, but it's the best lemonade in the world because it's fresh lemonade? Like, it smells like that. And it smells like they're literally slicing strawberries and infusing the strawberries into that frozen lemonade. Because it's not necessarily that, like, syrupy, sugary strawberry, but it's that zesty lemon, and you can smell that it's frozen. That's the part that I always think is so cool about fragrance, is that you can capture these things that you would never actually think have a scent to them. It's crazy. And I'm not emotional. I mean, maybe a little, but... I just like sneezed 10 times. And it's not because of the wax, it's because I just inhaled so much. Mango Sticky Rice. Now this one, I hear a lot of people talk about. I think I ordered Thai Sticky Rice in this order. If not, I might have it on my next order. I, I get so confused. But people were like, I don't really smell the mango in here. So I wanna try. Thai Sticky Rice with fresh mango slices. See, I never smelled regular Thai sticky rice to know, but to me this is like a very creamy warm rice. Like you do smell rice, like actual cooked rice. But to me I smell mango. I smell like those dried mangoes like you get at Trader Joe's. In this scent. With rice. Like I do. I smell like it's like on the top. I've also never eaten mango sticky rice, but I hear it's amazing, but I don't know. I smell the mango. Unless it's been reformulated recently. I'm not sure, but I smell the mango. Coffee Epic Day. Now, I'm on the quest to find all the coffees and have like a whole coffee week. I love my coffee scents. So this says, a blend of rich dark coffee, cinnamon, clove, and pink peppercorns. So to me, spicy coffee. Not as spicy coffee as I thought. I'm using the word spiced instead of spicy. So it's almost like you made a cup of coffee, hot coffee, not iced coffee. That could be iced if you want to. And you have like a tea ball infuser with like rich spices in them that you're just infusing in the coffee. So it's like that just ran through the coffee and just infused it lightly and you took a sip and you get that warm fuzzy feeling inside from those spices. That's what that smells like to me. It smells like like a creamy, like warm spiced coffee. And then we have Casey's Peaches and Clean. I was very intrigued by this. I love peach scents and to have a clean peach sounds interesting to me. It's an airy blend of tree-ripened peaches and freshly washed linens. Huh. Now, I, I don't have any pictures to paint for this because I don't know any instance where you would be like with peaches and washed linens together, but it works. That smells really good. But I don't know where you would, like, peach scented laundry detergent. Doesn't sound right. Like, opening up the windows in the south where there's peach trees blowing in the wind. Like, I'm not getting that, like, philosophical or, like, conceptual with you. But it smells like a clean peach. That's It's very interesting. I'm very excited to melt it. But I just didn't, I, I don't know. It's not something that I would ever be like, oh yeah, clean peaches. I don't know. Lavender Rosemary. Now it's so funny. I'm like literally making my list yesterday of scents I want to try. And I want to order like a lavender every every month. And I'm like, oh, this one sounds really good. Yeah, I did because I ordered it this month. Good thing it's not November 1st yet, so I still have time to edit my order. A sweet blend of lavender, sage, and rosemary. And I actually think I ordered this because of Kim Hart's organizing talk about it. Ooh. You pick up on rosemary. It's like a very fresh, herby rosemary. 
And Lavender's actually kind of in the background. Like, I think that Rosemary's more dominant here. And what I think is interesting is I feel like most of the time it's Rosemary Mint. So, like, when my brain thinks of Rosemary, I think Rosemary Mint. But it's not. It's just Rosemary. So it's just herbal Rosemary with a dash of Lavender. But the Lavender is not overpowering. It's actually very soothing. That's, that, that would be like a really good kitchen scent, I think. Like a really non-traditional herbal kitcheny scent. I have a lot of strawberries. <laughs> I tried all her strawberries in this order. Strawberry crumble. Strawberries and acai berries blend, oh, baked in sugar with a light topping of sugar cookie crumble. Sounds intriguing. Here's my thing. When I was ordering all these strawberry scents, I said to myself, Drew, <clears throat> you're going to find your favorite strawberry. It was probably going to be strawberry seeds. And that way you know, and you can stick with it. But now I'm like, so what I'm saying is, I need to order a foil pan in every strawberry scent in my next order. Because that's what this is sounding like to me. <laughs> it is like a sugar cookie infused with strawberries. That's crazy. I like that the sugar cookie is like it says sugar cookie crumble on the top. Almost like, think of it as like, like those baked torts or like, it's like a really gooey strawberry cake or like crumble and then you just crumbled a little bit of sugar cookies on the top. So it's just slightly sweet. Yum. This one, strawberry berry sauce. Very intrigued by this. Fruity dessert sauce of strawberry, blackberry, raspberry, lychee, and sweet rambutan. That should be my, uh, that should be my, uh, thumbnail. Spending hundreds of dollars on wax. It's my hobby. Hmm. I'm not sure what rambutan is, but it smells like a strawberry sauce. To me, strawberry seeds is definitely authentic, juicy strawberry. This is like, I picture a chef with like a real tall hat, and he's making this fresh sauce to put over top of ice cream that's like nitrogen frozen ice cream, and it's like a perfect scoop, and he like swirls the sauce on that white plate, and it's like this beautiful pink color that you still see the seeds because you know it's fresh and they bring it out to you that's what this smells like like that just amazing fresh berry sauce if that painted a picture for you juicy fruit now i was intrigued by this one super fruity spiked with spicy essential oils of orange grapefruit and cinnamon a good air freshener and I was like, I know on Lens is like an odor eliminator, but juicy fruit, I'm thinking of gum. So, hmm. I don't necessarily think it smells like juicy fruit gum, but it kind of smells like, like a light cinnamon. I don't get orange or grapefruit. I get like a light cinnamon. That's one I'm gonna have to melt to really understand, but to me, it just was like a very light cinnamon. You know it's a long video when your battery dies. So, charge it up, let's get back. We have cactus and sea salt, green cactus, fresh sea spray, sea moss, and driftwood. I thought this would be like a perfect uh, bathroom set, and it is, it's like, I, to me, cactus scents smell a little bit sweet, like a little bit like sweet, watery, aquatic, and I get that. And the sea salt is just, just light enough where it's not overpowering. You know how when you add salt to something sweet, it actually brings out the flavor more? That's what that is. It's like a really sweet, watery scent. Great for the bathroom. <laughs> it's so funny. The next one is Bonsai, and Bonsai says, strong, fresh, green, soapy scent, 
great for freshening up a bathroom. Well, I thought cactus and sea salt would be. Okay, this is interesting. To me, it has a little spiciness. Maybe because it's just so strong. It's like a very strong green soap. It's definitely more soapy than, like, fresh, in my opinion. But Rebecca says it's good for um, bathroom, so I'm going to try it in the bathroom. Oh my gosh, every time I take one, there's another layer. Hit the road, Jack. I was excited for this one. Sweet patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, black pepper, citrus. Compared to Lord of Misrule. Lord of Misrule is an awesome shower gel from Lush. It's like this really like goblin green color. And also, it stains everywhere. I don't use it for that reason. Yeah, this is Lord of Misrule. Yeah, this is loaf worthy. Like, I haven't even melted it yet, but I know it's loaf worthy because the Lord of Misrule is just the right amount of patchouli but it has that vanilla in there that tones it down, but it has that quintessential lush smell. This is probably one of the best orders I've gotten from her so far. Strawberry. Fresh, ripe strawberries. Can't get more strawberry than that. Maybe this is the strawberry that's in that ginger, or uh, that Kiko's Cafe. Now see, it's crazy. This does not even smell as fresh as the strawberry seeds, in my opinion. So it's crazy when she has just the strawberry and the strawberry seeds. Because to me, this smells a little bit more candied strawberry than fresh strawberries. Interesting. It's like a little bit more sweet than the strawberry seeds. I think I like strawberry seeds better. Well, I know I like strawberry seeds. Santo Rosa. Palo Santo and Creamy White Roses. I thought this was interesting because a lot of Palo Santo blends I have are like with creamier bakery scents, so I don't really have any with like super florals. Hmm. Totally changes the Palo Santo game. I don't pick up on the Palo Santo. I pick up on White Roses. Now, Whereas that sample that I had that had like the tea rose and the passion fruit, I feel like that brought out the rose. This is like really white rose, like very powdery. Even if you're a Palo Santo lover, if you're not a rose lover, don't try this because it's very white, heady rose. I really like it though. I like roses. But it's not as, gra and, uh, as um, Palo Santo as I thought, like warm and woody. Grass stain. Now, I thought this was interesting, too. Single note scent of fresh green grass. Okay. Yeah, it is. But it's fresh grass. Like how it says fresh green grass. It's not muddy. It's not swampy. It's not, like, gross grass. That is, like... This is, like, when you freshly cut grass on, like, a golf course. Not that I've ever cut grass on a golf course. Hear me out. But, to me, it's like really fresh grass. Like, it's there's no dirtiness to it. Maybe a cube of dirt and a cube of green grass or grass stain and alternate warmers. Applewood. Now, this is where I got one in a sample, fell in love with it, excited to get it in a bar. Smoked cedarwood, red apples, pears, ginger, and honey. Now, in the sample, I loved it. When I melted it, the more spices came out. And the cedar wood really shined through when I melted it. And this smells just like it did. So I assume that the cedar wood's going to come out more. To me, I get a very warm red apple and honey when I smell this. It's like a honeyed apple, but when you melt this, that cedar wood comes out and it is like heaven. It looks like I have seven more to go. Wow, I'm so excited. Blueberry basket, here we go. So if you remember from like, what was it, probably like an hour ago at this point, whoops. It says, a basket full of ripe blueberries, grapes, and plums. This is a rich, sweet berry scent. Ooh, it's 
is nice. This is nice. It's a very, it's a very, to me, I think blueberries are a very boring fruit. I might be in the minority there. I like blueberry flavored things, but like eating a plain blueberry, boring. Like they're white in the middle, they're not even flavorful. So blended with plum and grape, and I will say, grape to me is a scent that I don't particularly like because it has like a, that like medicine scent. That does not smell like medicine. That is like a really rich blueberry. I think those scents elevate it and like bring out the blueberry fragrance. So I really like it. Raspberries and sugar. This is one that I said, this just sounds good. Ripe red raspberries and strawberries sweetened with sugar. How many of you took strawberries as a kid, sliced them, sliced bananas and ate them in a bowl together? Not that this is strawberry and banana, but This is so good. It's tart raspberry, like tart raspberry. And I think, like a lot of the scents from Destination Wax, like I've said, whatever that scent is, adding to elevates the other. So for me, it elevates, the strawberry elevates the raspberry, but you can definitely smell it. And that sweetened with sugar, it does not make it a sugary scent. It's just a very like sweet raspberry. Quickie wedding. Now, I ordered this with wedding cake because I thought I was going to like this more than the wedding cake. I like the wedding cake. Just wish it was more strawberry heavy. This is fresh strawberries, strawberry seeds, and marshmallow fluff. I have a feeling this is going to be like 10 out of 10 amazing. Yeah. Like a super sweet, like it literally smells like that strawberry seeds I have in a loaf that I'm in love with. You fold in marshmallow fluff. Like the best marshmallow fluff. Is it really the best marshmallow fluff? I mean, marshmallow fluff all comes in a can or in a tub of deliciousness. Frozen Clementine. Now, I have Frozen Frozen. You want to talk about a headache reliever? You pop a cube of that in your warmers. It blows you into next week. It's so strong. So I was excited for Frozen Clementine because it takes that Frozen, which is, oh, it doesn't say what Frozen is on here, but it's like eucalyptus and menthol and spearmint and mint, like, like nose clearing, mixed with Clementine, orange, lemon, grapefruit, and tangerine, and bergamot. Interesting. All right, I'm preparing myself. I like this better than Frozen Frozen. That's for sure. Because it tones down that Frozen. To me, Frozen Frozen, like I said, it's strictly a sick scent. I, I couldn't, I don't think I would ever smell it and be like, yeah, I want to melt that and make myself feel better. Or like, make myself feel better when I'm sick, but not like, mm, what am I in the mood to melt tonight? Frozen Frozen? Never. But this I could be in the mood to melt. Because it definitely, those citruses all tone down that frozen frozen and make it a very, very like approachable citrusy scent. That is delish. Fresh lettuce. I had this years ago when I bought from Destination Wax and I remember liking it. Crisp, watery, fresh, green lettuce. Pretty self explanatory, right? Yep, it smells like a head of lettuce. And again, crisp lettuce. Not like you go to the store and the lettuce, you know, sits in the back of your fridge and then you never end up eating it and it gets all wilted and gross. No, this is like fresh lettuce that you got at the farmer's market, that crisp green. Aberdeen. The only reason why I ordered this was because of Ramona. Again, you see a trend. Ramona went to nursing school at Aberdeen School of Nursing, so she always has this scent in her orders because it reminds her of nursing school. Not necessarily scent, but the name. Fresh blend of lavender, cedar, green herbs, and earth. Hmm. Okay. This smells like something. And it's because of the lavender in here. Do you remember, and I worked for them, but I, I can't remember the name of it. It was a lush bath melt. Was it dream time? It was wrapped in like cheesecloth and it had a lavender sprig in it. 
That's what this smells like. Like a very creamy, I want to say almost like a shea butter, but this is like cedar. I know that had shea butter in it, but it's like a shea butter herbal scent. It's really interesting. And then last but not least, 50 Ways. Green floral blend with not quite 50 components. See online scent description for main scent notes. Oh, I don't have my phone with me, so. Oh, this is like, this is, this to me smells like Yankee Candle's interpretation of a green grass. It's, it's more sweet than green grass, but like if you smell it, you're like, yeah, that smells like a green grass. Whereas grass stain from, from Destination Wax, smells ah, cut me off. Where green grass or grass stain from Destination Wax smells more like fresh grass, this smells more like sweet grass. It's good though. I like it. My box, alas, is empty. I don't even know how long this video is. It has to be at least an hour. I mean, you guys are looking at it in real time. Was it an hour? I don't know. But I covered everything about Destination Wax in the beginning. This is my love note to Rebecca. You make incredible wax, and you're so special in so many ways. And I know you're going to see Waitress in like four days, five days, and I hope you have the best time, you and Casey. But I have a lot of wax to put away, and I actually make an Excel spreadsheet of all my destination wax and the pour dates so I can easily see it wherever I'm at. I know, total wax nerd. Oh god, I'm getting silly, you guys. Push up my glasses. I'm a nerd for Destination Wax. But, I love Destination Wax. Let me know if you've tried anything. What you're going to attempt to buy in November. Because I know you're going to want to place an order after all this. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you. Have a good one. Bye. P.S. Don't forget to just subscribe. See ya.